If you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here with a Scrap Diva Designs guest design team project. I will link the videos to the projects that I have done so far in the description box. You guys can check out all the other guys that I've used so far. You can find Erica and all her new releases at www.scrapdivadesigns.com. You can also find her on Instagram, YouTube, and you can search hashtag Scrap Diva Designs for all of the projects using her dyes past and current. So definitely we'll find some inspiration there. Today, so today I'll be working on this love die and no it is not just for Valentine paper and projects. You can use it for anything. I am going to scrapbook my little grandson son. <laughs> my little bubba. So this is the die that I'm going to use in today's project. I've already um, separated everything. Um, so we have different parts to the die. We have a front um, a front base and I know there's other people that have done projects on this die and they turned out absolutely beautiful So I'm hoping mine's will be close. Um, and then we have one um, that is stitched. So One is stitched. This is the stitched one and this is a solid so you can layer these two on top of each other if you'd like for double layering, but um, that's that and then we also have the offset because these have holes this one does not so that would layer right on top as such and then we have the two love pieces this is a solid piece and this is um, an offset of that so you have these two pieces as well that cut out so really cool dies I am going to be playing with that and using a digital paper collection uh, from simple stories I've already gone ahead and um, sized out the elements that I wanted to use. Let me pull this camera up a little bit. All right, I've already gone ahead and sized out the um, ephemera that I wanted to play with uh, and resize everything according to the size of the die. This is a very pretty, very nice, cohesive boy paper has little soft pinks, blue, soft browns. It's not just your typical, you know, red, you know, sharp colors. I love the softness of it. So absolutely had to have it. Um, so I, I will be uh, printing or cutting using my silhouette to cut out all of these shapes and we're going to see how I can implement them into the album. And then I've also gone ahead and printed out some eight and a half by 11 paper from the collection. These are the colors that I chose and the patterns. I think they are so, so cute. If you see that it's faint, it is. It feels like a dreamy filter, basically, is what it feels like. And that's all that I've cut out so far. I may need more. I just didn't want to print a whole bunch, and I wasn't going to use it all right now for this project. But I definitely will be creating more projects with this paper because I think it is so cute with the lions, the bunnies, the bears. So, so cute. So, um, for now, I will be going ahead and cutting out the dies um with the pattern paper and the white cardstock and i will be back with you guys okay i am back and i have everything cut out at least i think i do i have my base pages cut out and i did end up cutting them in heavyweight cardstock 120 pound weight uh cardstock and i cut them out twice um because i want them to be sturdy and they'll be layered again um with more paper but i need everything to be nice and sturdy because <laughs> when I make these mini albums people flip through them often they go back and I want them to be nice and durable for a long time so I cut out two bases for that um, and then I cut out all of the papers that I'll use and this paper is so pretty here these are the papers um, that I'm using and I'm only covering the front the back I would like to um, just talk about times that I've had with my bubba or we've shared and things like that little memory so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave the black the back blank uh, but this paper is so pretty i also have gone ahead and um cut out all of the pieces that i um, printed on there and then i have the die that cuts out the lining of the word love on the front also mixed up in here so we'll get to all of this later and what else here? So I have pulled out some flowers that I think I'll be using just a little bit because I don't want to make it too, 
too feminine, um, but I did pull out some soft colors. I also have some um, gold pom-pom trim and some uh, crochet lace that I want to add a little tassel to the side of that. I have a couple punches that I may use for flowers here and there throughout to fill in some gaps. I grabbed some eyelets. Y'all, when I tell you I've been gone for forever looking for stuff because of the move, I've been gone forever looking for stuff. So we're going to make do with what I found. And then I have some of this beaded trim. Now, I couldn't find my whole gem box, the gems, G-E-M. But what I did come to find is um, these pair earrings. I'm going to use those in a tassel. I found this bag of, uh, this was all like craft desk miscellaneous in the box. I'm like, oh, this will all go well. These Alina tassels, they are the top, they hold the top of, uh, like when you want to make a little tassel, they hold that. And I found some hoop earrings. So we're going to, hey, we're going to, like I said, make it do what it do. So the first thing that I'm going to do is mat my papers together. Oh, I forgot to mention that. I have already printed out my pictures. Um, I have them in black and white because they're all very, very colorful. And because this paper is muted, I didn't want to mess up the paper, but still have the mini album flow and be able to use the pictures. So that's why I printed them in black and white. I like doing that because if I'm not using like a paper that will allow it, it just doesn't look right. Sometimes it clashes. So um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and mat everything down. I'm going to take my two covers first. That's the base die. Push that out. And I'm going to mat the two heavyweight card stocks together. Okay, the front and back covers are done to each. Now I've cut out the stitch dies and I'll mat two of those. So I've cut eight of these out because the book will be four pages. So I'm just going to go ahead and mat two of these together so I can have my four very sturdy pages. So we have our four pages together, nice and thick. So I'm going to start, I'm just going to layer them so that's nothing special. I'm going to layer those, but what I'm going to do first is my cover. So I have this really pretty heart um, page, super cute, cut out, nice matte pink. And I'm going to lay this down first, and then I'm going to lay another piece on top of that. These dies cut out beautifully. Love the stitching. You can also, if you wanted to, make this a um, a mini album. I mean, mini album. A shaker. A shaker mini album. So what I'm going to do with this, this is going to be popped up. So I'm going to add some dimension to the back of this layer. And then add this to the front. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of glue to these dots. So they can just have a little bit of extra added security. Nice. I love Lift It. So cute. And then um, now we can add paper to the rest of the book. So I am going to fast forward through this. You know, you know how to layer and I'll be back. Okay. We're all done. And oh, this just looks so cute. This is such a cute paper and such a cute book. So that's the end. I'm just going to see how I'm going to arrange these really easily. Just like that. How adorable. So cute. All right, so let's grab, I'm going to grab the letters so we can put these, the letters on, but I'm going to do a little something different with the heart part. So let me see, L, we're missing the, we're missing the L. L, L. All right, so I used one of the dies to cut out the background the L O V the L V E and then I use the other die to just cut out the liner of the two. 
And then for the heart, I've already cut, I've cut that out as well because it cuts out when I cut this. I am going to take one of the photos and put Bubba in the middle of the photo. This was his firstborn photo in the hospital. He's so adorable. They changed so much. And I'm just going to put him like right there. So I'm going to add some glue to the back of this heart. And <laughs> that glue just tossed over to the side. <laughs> and then just make sure I got my placement right. Wait a minute. Do I want to do that? No, I don't. I don't want to do that. I want to pop it up. Yeah, I'm going to pop those up. And I'm just slicing these in half. I just want it to pop out, you know? Be front and center. I need to work on my shadowing for this these videos. I know. I'm going to work on it. But right now we have to get work done. So it'll come. I have to watch more videos about um, shadowing and where the light goes. I know there has to be like a light coming from the front, the sides, the back. So if you have any videos that you want to share, like a link them down below. I'd love to watch them as far as lighting techniques. But I do have some saved in my um, my little watch later list. Just going to add a little glue. Bing, bing, bing. Bada bing, bada boo. Okay. And then we're going to place it right over the bubba. Right there. That is so cute. <laughs> and then I'm just going to cut around it. I'm kind of cutting in a little bit so that you won't see like the piece of the photo underneath. Is that not adorable? Is he not adorable? It's going to go there. <laughs> I love it. All right. And then now we're just going to put these letters on top each like this. I'm going to keep, should I pop these up too? Yeah, I'm going to pop these up too. But first let's glue these frames, the outline to the base. This will definitely be cute as like a little shaker too. Okay. And now I'm just going to put the pop dots on the back. And because I want this love, I mean, this heart to stand out, this is still going to be higher than the rest. It's pop dots. It's dimensions in between. But there's, I'm going to also put it up some at the back, too. <laughs> so cute. That is so adorable. Oh, my gosh. I just love I love it. Look at Bubba. I am so handsome. Okay. Enough of that. So um, let's go ahead and we can decorate the front cover. Get that done. So I got some flowers. I'm going to use, this is an old pack from Prima for Evergreen. I'm just going to pull out like these cream flowers. We'll see. And then this is a Pink Paisley old pack. And this is from Auburn Lane. Let's see here. And then also, I'm not going to forget my punches just in case. Got some gold cards, cardstock. Let's see. Let's just see how it pans out first. All right, love. I'm going to see if I want to add. Oh, sweet love. 
Oh, that would be perfect. Sweet love, tell me how to love. I feel it. I'm in love. Sweet love. Now that song's going to be in my head. Give me a wormhole. The problem with this sweet is it's not set. Hello, love. That might be better. The sweet annoys me because it's it's off center. But the hello will work. No. We could do hello, love. I really want to do sweet love. I'm going to do sweet love. I'm going to see maybe. Here we go fiddling around with stuff we don't need to fiddle around with. But let me just see. If I could maybe make it look a little better. Oh, I'm already messing up. <laughs> Here we go. See if I can make it look a little better. We're cutting off some of this white border. Because that was just annoying the crap out of me. Sweet love. Da, 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 da. Oh, I feel it. All in love. Sing it with me. Put it down in the description box if you're singing. Sweet love. Then come back and watch the video. <laughs> I think you can text and leave a message and watch at the same time. Are you singing it? I feel the same. What is she saying? I feel, is it ashamed? I feel ashamed. I'm in love. I don't know. What's that word? I got to Google it. So I don't remember. Okay. That doesn't look horrible. Horrible. So I could put that there. Still tentative. Just put these cutter pieces back because my friends like to steal these. I think I said I was going to get an air tag on those. <laughs> They're not watching anyway, so I don't have to worry about the backlash. But I'm sure Tiffany's going to snitch. So. Either way, I'll be in trouble. Okay. <laughs> the shade of it all. Oh, that looks cute. Does it not? Does it not look cute? Or does this one look better? Or this large one. No, it's hiding the L. That one's no. This too, this is, that would be cute though. I was first thinking that's too much, but it's still hiding the L. Right? We don't want to, you know. That's too thick. Oh, it's so cute, though. I'm going to go with a smaller one. Maybe if I take off. I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, that was just hiding too much of the ale. And let's see if this smaller one. I can't decide. Um, what I will do, though, is use my scraps here. Got my little um, EK Success Punch. Try to get some of this. Just bring in some of this pink a little bit. Let's get some of this white. Um, let's see here. And I'm gonna get, get the smaller one too. Put some of that in there. And then take my, I love this punch, the Starburst Punch by Miguel. No reference to crafting like a boss. At least I don't think. If she's been rich this whole time, then I've been fooled. Because she didn't tell me. Um, let's see. I, do I dare look for... I dare not. I'm going to use my palm. Because I have no idea where my pads are to mold my flowers. So I'm just going to use my palm and my finger. My daughter's home from school now. School is out. Lord have mercy. What shall we do? This one's too small. So, okay. Just put a little glue on the back here. I said a little. That didn't work. All right. Oh man, I did that wrong. It's okay. Okay, I didn't mean to put that on there just yet. 
So we'll take this little one off. We'll put this one on like so. That's what I meant to do. And then put this one in the middle. Good thing that glue was hot. That's cute. Is that not cute? What a cute flower. Very pretty. We can actually leave that one out then. And put these two tiny ones. Oh, it's cute. That is cute. That's adorable. I wish I had more blue. I need another small one. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead seal this deal. Right there. This one here. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seal that one there. Let's do these two together. I like that. I like that. All right. And put these on pops. I love it. Sweet love. Da, da, da. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. All right. We can move on. We can move on. How adorable. Or maybe I'll just decorate. No, I'll do that. I have enough pictures. Maybe we can put pictures on the front and back. Okay. Super sweet. All right. So, um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and fill in the pictures that I want. So I'm going to cut these out. Okay. I got all my pictures cut out. All my little bubbas. They're all ready to go. And I'm just going to add them to the layouts. So I'll fast forward while I pick the placement and I'll be, I'll be using some ephemera as well. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these items down. So yeah, I went ahead and fast forward this part. It's really just layering. Uh, this first part of the mini album, I laid flat and added uh, sentiments. And then I decided that I wanted to pop the pictures up on dimensionals. Um, and the matte paper is 48 pounds. So I decided to back that up with 100 pound cardstock. So it'll be nice and sturdy when they're um, popped up. So basically I'm just adding the photos kind of zigzag, uh, you know, not zigzag, but fancy. I couldn't think of the word for nothing. Um, and I added pop dots and a hot glue on the back, tried to add some sentiments where I could and, um, just little parts of the ephemera, which you'll see a close up of this mini album once we get to the end. But I just wanted to make sure that I kind of grouped everything together. Like this is like the nighttime. So all the, like the sleepy photos, I could gather the one month photos, the happy ones, you know, I kind of put it in that kind of a theme. And then I found my lost page and I was like, oh, perfect. I have three photos left and they were perfect for this. I laid them on there, called it a day. And then I used the rest of the ephemera or more of the ephemera on the back. So when I do my doodling, I can have something pretty to look at. All right, I am done, and so far it is looking so cute. So I probably fast forwarded through majority of putting this together, but I have a few pieces left. I can use this for another project because I definitely will be printing this paper out again, different sheets. Um, I only selected a few, and I only selected obviously a few of the ephemera. So um, this is the front. Just going to show you the single sheets. It is so adorable. I love this die. It is such a cute die. I just resized my photos. Um, what I did was just measure this piece. And I think it was like seven. I think I measured seven by two and a half or something like that. Let me make sure. I did seven and a half by, I did seven and a half by two and a half, which is like the uh, smallest piece. And I just made sure my photos fit within that perimeter. But this is the first one. Love sweet. And then on the back, I used some of the extra ephemera so that I can doodle and write messages on the back or a message on the back. Do have room for more photos, but I'm not going to put any more photos in this particular album. There will be definitely more Bubba albums to come. So we'll have plenty of space for that. But I just want to write um, because lots of things happen with this child. Um, so that's the first one. 
the second page i did some of the one month stuff that i knew for sure was like the one month this one is so adorable I did one month hello um welcome baby and then these pictures i have flat and then i realize i want more dimension um because i i just can't y'all know me but i like this flat one so i was going to leave this like it is and then on the back i have an abacus huge story about this abacus I get teased about it still to this day. But anyway, I have Abacus, which is one of his favorite toys right now. So I had to cut that out. And then this is the third page. So cute. He's so adorable. I put so perfect on here. I have a little bunny. And then the photos, I have these three popped up on Dimensions. And then towards the end, I was like, I know I counted pictures, but... Um, as you saw in the video, I went back and added these because another a page was stuck to the bottom of this. So they were stuck together and I flipped over two at one time. And then when I went back, I'm like, oh, shoot, there's the next page. So I had already stuck these under there, but they look fine. Those are flat and these are popped up. So it worked out perfectly. And then I, I have cute and like the little moon on the back. And then here, this is the page that was last that I forgot. And I had three extra pictures left. And I'm like, oh, that's perfect. It worked out great. I have a little rainbow, shine bright, little star. Some things are popped. Some things are flat. It's just such a cute, cute thing here. And then Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, one of the songs that I sing to him. And um, this is the next page. And it's sweet dreams, six months with this. These stars are so adorable. And he sleeps, literally. He sleeps with his eyes a little blink, some open sometimes, but he's on the floor, like literally knocked out. He's on Mimi's couch. He's in the car seat. He's in the stroller. Just sleep. So uh he act like he works, but he doesn't. <laughs> but being babying is hard, I guess. Have that on the back. And then for the back page. Um, love you to the moon. I have the little moon and the stars and another one of the toys that he likes. He loves bath time. This is one of the six month photos. I posted that on Facebook. We put another bath time photo here. It's a whole bathtub, a whole inflatable tub that I bought him. And we put it on the living room floor with like, um, a mattress. What do you call it? Protector under it. So we can have a splash time. And he has such a good time in Mimi's house taking a bath in the pool in the liver. So, yep, so fun. And then this is the back of the book. Um, so um, I had cut out a page that was just backwards on here. But somehow it has grown feet and ran away. I know I'll find it right after I cut this video. But for now, we're going to leave that there. I'll put my little signature there. And... We're done, and it is so, it is so, look how, look how that looks. Seriously, I love it. So anyway, let's work on, like, let's do a tassel and then the binding, and we'll be good to go. So for the tassel, I am going to use um, the ribbon, the trim and stuff. I was going to, I was thinking about underneath this layer here, putting some of these under here. How does that look underneath there? I don't know. I could essentially like squeeze it under there and like make it happen. Push it and do what I need to do to get it under there. But how does that look? Does it add to? Oh, it just looks cute. I think it looks cute. Let's make it work. Let's make it work. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push these under here and glue it down. I'll try my best to. This is somewhat like performing surgery. Not that I know anything about that, but I feel like I'm making a surgical incision.
Okay, that looks cute. I have to say, <laughs> that is adorable. Glad you talked me into that. <laughs> so cute. So adorable. Okay, so now we are still going to add um, a tassel using the same ribbons. Okay, we'll set that aside and then we'll have, we have our pieces here. We'll grab this from Alina, these tassels, and I'll get this large one. There's three different sizes. I think I'll grab this large one. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll need the jump rings and then this little thing here. So what we're gonna do is take the tassel or take whatever yarn we'll we're using or trim or whatever, fabric. We just wanna fold everything in half, and get a middle point. I'll probably cut this shorter anyway. So, and then I'm just going to, so we have that. And then we have uh, this middle point here. I'm gonna grab all the fabrics, fold it in half, and then put my little, this thing on here. <laughs> what is the formal name for this? This clasp. I'm gonna grab my pliers, make sure all of my pieces are shoved in there, and then I'm gonna squeeze it. I started at the top, and then I'll just squeeze it from the sides. I'm really wanting to make sure that the those pearls get in here really well so they don't come out. And I'm just squeezing the whole thing closed, really tight. That is cute. And then we have just this little cute little tassel. It's just adorable. Okay, so now we can, I'll adjust the length later. I'm gonna grab this. These are earrings, they were on clearance, apparently at Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna grab one of those earrings. It says, uh, be bright, perfect. And these jump rings. I'm gonna grab a couple of those. I just need three. Okay, and I'm just gonna use these pliers as I have them out. Where did that go? I don't know. Uh, I guess that's why I grabbed four because I knew I was gonna drop one subconsciously. I'm gonna grab this. Oh, there it is. Jump ring and add it to the top, and then I'll add a closed one if I can, and then close that up. And then we'll take another jump ring and attach it to this charm, hang it onto the first one that we used. Boom, it's cute. It's giving cute, and then We'll take this last one to give it a little bit of separation and length to allow for more wiggle room. And there we have it. Really, really cute tassel. All right, we'll set that aside for now really quickly. And then we're gonna put some eyelets in here on the front and the back. And I'm going to use, I will use this white one. And then I'm just going to, oh, first, since this is already on the small eyelet, I'm gonna, whoops, I'm gonna punch a little hole for the little dangle that we got. And then I'll grab some tiny eyelets. Oh, glad I picked that one because I don't have any pink in the tiny eyelet, so that worked out well. And yeah, since my crocodile is already on this setting, I'll just do that quick. And then I'll flip it and do the big ones, okay? And we do the same thing to the back one. Now we can hang this little thing, this charm. Now we can hang this tassel on this little eyelet here. And I put it right on the edge because I know that this jump ring is small. Oh, that is so cute. That is so adorable, but I am going to cut it. Okay, now we can do the closure rings because again, 
I don't know where my, I don't know where the stuff is. So these are earrings. This is what I did find in my miscellaneous desk stationery box. And then we'll need three of these. Okay. These look a little funky. These are like earring something or other, but what I'm going to do is take this whole thing off. Bend it back and forth. So then we have a jump ring, large, and it's heavy duty. So and I'm going to put them on. Uh, oh, actually, I'll do the rest to the other two, and then I'll put them on the book. Now we can add these on here. One. Oh, I should find some whole. I think I have a die that I have out for whole reinforcers. I might go back and do that just to be sure. But the pages are layered. Double. They have three layers of cardstock, so should be fine. But again, I just want to be super sure. I think I got some whole reinforcers somewhere nearby or in the open area at least. All right. That's done, and then I'm gonna close it, close it, and flatten it a little bit, make it look presentable, like it was purposeful. Let's see if it's got enough room. Oh, perfect! All right, let me do the other two. <laughs> That's adorable. That's adorable. Perfect. Perfect. Now that I know I can do that, oh, this was a great mishap because I can't find, you know, my rings and my box for my jewelry or whatever. That's perfect. All right. So, you know, we got to finish it up with some blingies. Uh, what did I do with that box? Come through, Elena, again. Hey, <laughs> these are flat back pearls. From Alina Cuddle, which I designed for. And where are we going? Do I have any stickles nearby? Oh, stickles. This is my day, honey. So I'm going to put my signature three dots. What can I pick this up with? Can I do it with this? Boom. Oh, they're just eagerly waiting. I don't... Oh my gosh, my family is so loud. And three. And then we put some tiny ones here. That is so cute. And then, and then a couple, one right here, here, and in there. All right, that's it for that. Let's put this away. Oh, this is so cute. Let's add a little stickle life. So we are about this stickle. I'm going to add it around this inner frame. And then I'll add it around the inner frame of the letters as well. Oh, oh my gosh. How adorable. Oh, my sweet little mama. That is so cute. I hope you guys have enjoyed this comma craft with me. I certainly did. Be sure to check out Erica's shop where you can find this die and so many more of her amazing products. Here you can find her again at ScrapDivaDesigns.com. You can also find her on social media at TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube at ScrapDiva29, ScrapDiva.29, and ScrapDiva Designs by hashtag. So I enjoyed this project. I hope you guys got some inspiration. Get the die, girl. All right, if you have a second, take a second and like this video. I would very much appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. And if you watch the whole thing and that song is still stuck in your head. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.